Hey, this is Cosmic Road. I hope you're having a good day. I wanted to bring you a really juicy story. This is probably going to be a quick video, but I wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, is Lou Elizondo uh, trying to uncover the Cabal, aka Area 51, aka Breakaway Civilization, whatever you want to call it. It seems like Lou Elizondo has been hunting for it. Okay, let's get into it. Before I do, please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and as I'm going through it, please comment below and let me know what you think about all this craziness. Okay, let's see what Lou has to say. Do you think it's possible that there are such programs and, and legacy programs? Is that what they're actually called, legacy programs? Legacy, yeah. Okay, so is that feasible? You know, it's it's it is it is uh, unlikely, but it is certainly with well within the realm of possibility. I, I I do not doubt that some of those legacy programs still exist. Whether it involves the UFO program um, remains to be seen because we've done a lot of digging around, and and you know if they exist, they're really dug themselves deep, um, which is you know which is, I mean, kudos to them, but. You know, I, I, I know where to dig. I, I know where those, you know, where those, where to put the holes in the ground to find what we want to look for. Um, yeah. I do think that there may be some, some legacy guidance out there that people may still be using to, to not want to have this conversation. But I think even more importantly, there may be two other issues at hand. Either the technology is so revolutionary that uh, someone has made a decision unilaterally to, to not share this even with their own chain of command, which is a problem. Um, or the other possibility as well is that um, they're scared. Yeah. So Lou has been hunting for the Area 51 breakaway group, whatever you want to call them. He has been looking for legacy programs that have to do with the UFOs. So older programs, he's talking about programs that have hidden uh, from uh, the public eye and from modern, uh, you know, Congress and funding efforts because they're legacy. They're these old programs that have been squirreled away for a long time and they have eluded being found. But Lou has been on the hunt. He and presumably other ATIP members uh, searched for these legacy programs that had to do with UFOs. He claims he didn't find them and maybe that's true. However, if uh, there are no legacy programs, if there is no breakaway civilization, if there are no Area 51 or whatever you want to call it, uh, groups going on, then who has been blocking him? Who has been uh, maligning him and uh, standing in the way of disclosure at every step? Chris Mellon just dropped a really interesting thing on Twitter. It's an article he wrote. He linked to it on Twitter. I highly recommend checking out his Twitter page. Uh, but in it, Chris Mellon uh, recommended Congress start looking into certain things regarding to UFOs. And one of those was satellite data and other data. He points out uh, that we are, you know, the UAP task force is only looking at 120 incidents. And he asked, why are they only focused on those incidents? Uh, when uh, we have a wealth of data to look at, and why are we only looking at the sensor data from the ships involved in those incidents? Surely, if we have sensor data from those ships during those specific incidents, we have a wealth of other data to look at. He says NORAD alone has hundreds of unidentified accounts every year, and you know those are not in the UAP task force report. Obviously, hundreds over years would be thousands of reports that the UAP task force report is not looking at. So some members of the government are obviously aware of the UFO UAP phenomenon. This sensor data from these satellites, from NORAD, from the submarines, all, all this stuff that they have, all this data that they have on these objects is going somewhere. It didn't go to ATIP, presumably. So where did it go? It went to some group that is trying to hide this information from people. Why are they trying to hide it? Is it because of some, of some religious thing? Are they trying to protect the establishment, the oil companies, the energy uh, industry? Is that what's going on? 
Is this a protecting the establishment sort of thing? Or is there another agenda in play? Are they actually working with the phenomenon and they are trying to cover up their involvement in that? I lean toward this second possibility, and I call that group the breakaway group, and Richard Dolan coined that group. I don't take any credit for it. I also think of it as Area 51. Even if that activity is no longer located at Area 51, uh, it could be distributed other places, uh, deep underground bases, who knows where. It could be at Wright Pat. Uh, it could be largely in the private sector these days. It could be at Lockheed Martin. Uh, Lou Elizondo talks about hiding stuff in the private sector and how it's almost impossible to find if they do that. Anyway, so it's irrefutable, in my opinion, that somebody is hiding this information. They are making a concerted, concerted effort to hide this information. They're smearing Lou. They're doing all sorts of shady stuff. And why are they doing it? I have no doubt the energy companies are very powerful within the government uh, in that a lot of them would be put out of business if the technology from the visitors got out into the public, if we had their energy technologies that would transform society. However, I do believe that a lot of the, not, not every person in, in the energy business is evil a lot of those people would probably actually be curious to see what society would transform into. There would be elements that would be against that, and maybe even the majority would be against that. However, I have to believe that some of those people would not stand in the way of that. That's not to say that they're not controlling things, but I do lean in the direction of this being more than that. Anyway, I found it fascinating that Lou Elizondo hunted for these legacy programs and they eluded his uh, hunt. Does that mean they don't exist? Well, like I say, somebody has been standing in his way and standing in the way of disclosure. Uh, it is a concerted effort and they have suppressed this information for a long time. So some organized high level group of people are suppressing this organization. If Lou can't find evidence of a legacy program, that does not mean they don't exist. Clearly, something exists. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Please hit subscribe and the bell next to it so you'll receive notifications of any future videos. And please comment below and let me know what you think. Is there a secret group within the government suppressing this information and possibly working with the visitors? Uh, let me know. And until next time, Cosmic Road out.